This is Jimmy with Progressive Performance, and today I'd like to talk about the second most important principle when organizing a physique goal-based diet. Now, at this point, you should have figured out how many calories you need to take in, but now we need to figure out how to distribute those calories between our macronutrient categories. All a macronutrient is, is a calorie-containing nutrient, a protein, a carbohydrate, or a fat. Now, when we start to look at these calorie-containing nutrients and how to distribute our calories between them, we first are gonna take a look at protein. The reason why we look at protein first is because it's the most constant macronutrient in your diet. When we look at protein, protein is gonna be somewhere in the range of 0.6 to one gram per pound of body weight. That's gonna fluctuate depending on a couple of different factors. If you're an endurance athlete, for example, you're gonna need less protein in your diet to leave more room for carbohydrates. If you're female, you're gonna you're not gonna utilize the protein as well as a male. And if you're older, you're gonna need more protein in your diet to signal more of a protein synthesis response. Now, the next thing we wanna look at is our fat content in our diet. The reason why we look at fat content next is because it's made up of a certain percentage of our total calorie amount, and we need to take that into consideration before we start to fill in the rest of our calories with carbohydrate. Now, this wide range here is really dependent upon how carbohydrate sensitive you are, how sensitive to this insulin you are. We're gonna determine our fat content in our diet on a couple of different factors as well. There's male and female differences here in that women tend to not be able to tolerate carbohydrates as well as men can. So their diets tend to be on the higher end of the spectrum of fats whereas men's programs tend to be on the lower end of the spectrum for fats. For frame of reference, when I start a new client out on a diet and I don't know anything about them yet, I get their calorie amount, and for my male clients, start them out with roughly 20% fat, and my female clients, I start them out with roughly 30% fat, and we adjust from there depending on how they respond over the next month or so. It's important to note that fats can be as low as 25 grams a day while you're still functioning well and, and, and still producing gains in the gym, yet lower than 15% of your total calorie amount can affect your hormone levels and can affect your muscle building hormones. So we try not to dip below here unless we really need to for extreme circumstances like getting on stage for a bodybuilding show. Now we're gonna move on to carbohydrates, our last and final macronutrient, because this is gonna fill in the rest of the calories that you need to take in. A majority of the time when you first start a diet, your calorie amount from carbohydrates is gonna be the highest out of the three macronutrients. Carbohydrates are actually more muscle sparing than protein is, so it's gonna help you keep more muscle on and actually help you keep performing well in your sport, as opposed to these low carbohydrate diets that actually leave much, much to be desired in your performance level. Now that we've adjusted all of these macronutrients, take that into your diet, take this, this information into your calorie amount, and just plug in the numbers. You'll have a great place to start from, and you can adjust as you go, depending on how sensitive you are to carbohydrates. One final point I'd like to make when calculating the amount of grams of each of these calories you're gonna take in, you have to think about the calories per gram of each of these where fats are nine calories per gram, and that can be sometimes confusing when figuring out how many grams of fat you need. So you figure out your percentage of your calories from your diet and divide that by nine to get the amount of grams you need, whereas a protein and a carbohydrate, you divide it by four to get the grams you need. Hopefully this helps. Now you're on your way to successful diet. See you next time.